Hello, Nadim here, online tennis instruction. I have a surf video for you today again, and uh, this happens to be one of my favorite parts of teaching the serve is the beginning of the service motion. I want to go a little bit more into detail what I mean. A lot of players I work with personally on court have the issue of starting incorrectly and you can start incorrectly in a couple different ways but I'm mainly talking about the speed with which they begin using their hitting arm okay and that oftentimes leads into some sort of erratic motion or even a pause in the swing so what I find is very very useful is to begin with purpose really really slow and that can be a challenge because you need to coordinate your toss with your motion a lot of players say uh, the typical thing that I hear is um, I don't have time to hit the ball okay so I want to show you what I do when I work with that. Now, <clears throat> I'm a big proponent of separating toss from arm action. And toss and arm action, why? Because you work on the toss separately from your arm action, okay? And then you put them together. And when it looks, the end product looks something like this. Toss, arm action. One more time. Toss, arm action. And <clears throat> What I want players to do who struggle or find themselves recording themselves and seeing, okay, I'm going a little fast, or hey, there's a hitch, or hey, I'm tight, or something along those lines, or you have received a review from us, I want you to work on this following motion. Let me come a little closer so you see that. So when you toss the ball, your right arm or your hitting arm should be very inactive still. So I like to call it like almost like the little bit of a wave. You see how I'm, I'm, my, my arm is waving away. I turn my body, I toss, and my, my arm is so loose that every single joint is, is, is moving through the air. It's not active. But because I turn away, you see how nice and relaxed my arm is. My elbow goes up first, tiny bit my rest of the hand follows and I can get the full execution of the toss going at that time and look where my hand is. This is an exaggeration, I understand that, but when players deal with this issue or this issue or this issue by the time the ball is up in the air or even this issue, um, then this is a very welcomed change and it takes some time. So I want you to practice tossing the ball and when the ball is in the air and comes down you're still here and by here I mean elbow below shoulder and elbow away from body okay elbow below shoulder and elbow away from body with the tip of the racket pointing when you're righty to the right and when you're lefty to the left this is too much this is not correct so anything that does not satisfy the requirements tip of the racket if you're righty to the right if you're lefty to the left elbow away from body and below shoulder level once you are tossing that ball and this is that this wave thing that I'm talking about if you activate the racket first or the hand first you're breaking that wave okay I want you to toss that ball not be concerned what happens don't go for it and just see whether you're in this position right here now you may say okay that looks good but how am I actually going to do this when the ball is in the air? I'm going to freak out. Yes, you will at first, but trust me, this works if you do it often enough and you don't lose patience looking for something else to fix. So if you have an issue with the beginning of your, your service motion, do this. Toss the ball, be here. Now I'm going to hit the ball, okay? Same thing. Toss, and then I can still have plenty of time if I accelerate properly. Now this is only one of many things to work on on the serve, but I do think that if you begin very slowly, that's the point of this video, you toss completely, but you begin with your hitting arm very slowly, if you're in the right position, you can still increase with the speed sufficiently enough to make contact, and you see it does work. So let me, let me give you a couple more serves, I hope they are decent examples, but the idea is not can I make the ball in the box? The idea is, am I improving my swing flow? Okay, so toss, hit that ball, okay? Toss, here, this is where I'm at when the ball is tossed. This is where I'm at when the ball is tossed. This is where I'm at, and then I can go for it. Okay, so it doesn't look abrupt. I don't have a stop in the motion. It's smooth and slow at the beginning. It's smooth and fast towards and past contact. I hope this little tip helps you. Let me know underneath this video whether it does and if you can apply it. And we'll see you next time. Take care.
The serve is, of course, the most important shot in tennis, and because so many players struggle with it, we now started offering one-day serve clinics. In these serve clinics, we'll break down your serve with video analysis and show you exactly what elements need to be fixed so that you can hit powerful serves. So if you're interested in finally developing a powerful serve with one of our serve clinics, click the link inside this video right now for all the details on upcoming serve clinics.